Let us pray. O God in heaven, creator of heaven and earth, the God of the spirits of our flesh, the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, and the God of Jacob, unto whom all hearts are open, all desires known, and from whom no secret is hid. We humbly come before you with broken and contrite hearts to lament the prevalence of this worldwide pandemic caused by the coronavirus. But we come with the assurance to the question to your servant Abraham, is there anything too hard for the Lord? Father, we pray especially for all members of the Boys Brigade throughout the world, that you will give them divine protection against the coronavirus. Lord, we know that the great physician, Jesus Christ, is always near. He will grant divine protection and healing to a Boys Brigade family, especially members of our Boys Brigade alumni around the world. We thank you for empowering the national leadership of our nation and all medical professionals as they continue to inform behemoths through regular press releases. As we continue in our time of intercessory prayer for healing, we recall the Boys Brigade Whisper. Great God, who knows all our needs, bless thou our watch and guard our sleep. Forgive our sins of thought and deed, and in thy peace, thy servants, we thank thee for the day that's done. We trust thee for the days to be. Thy love we learn in Christ thy Son. O oh, may we all his glory see. Heavenly Father, we thank you for anointing competent medical doctors and research scientists around the world to guide us safely through this COVID-19 pandemic. Lord, allow your Holy Spirit to keep us safe during this national lockdown. Father God, we thank you, we praise you, and we glorify you in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. My brothers and sisters, I greet you in the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. I wish to take this opportunity to encourage you to remain steadfast in your service to God and your commitment to the Boys Brigade. These have been trying times for people worldwide due to the COVID-19 pandemic, but especially for Bahamians, many of whom are still grappling with the devastation and immense loss caused by Hurricane Dorian. And it is during times like these that even we as believers can become saddened and discouraged. It is normal as human beings to experience a sense of helplessness and abandonment when jobs are lost, families are hungry, and loved ones become sick or pass away. But I want to remind you that God is still in control and He loves us all. We must look to Him as our source of hope and renewal. For our light and momentary troubles are achieving for us an eternal glory that far outweighs them all. So let us fix our eyes, not on what is seen, but what is unseen, since that which is seen is only temporary, and that which is unseen is eternal. We must stand ready to be used by God to help those in need and to love our neighbors as ourselves. We are at the dawn of a new day, and the light at the end of the tunnel is just ahead. I challenge you, officers, boys and parents to stand ready to join the leaders of this great organization 
to help us rebuild it to its former glory and beyond, so that the boys of this nation can come to know Jesus at an early age and their souls saved. Kudos to all of you for adhering to the safety protocols in place. Let us continue to be careful and cautious as our country slowly reopens. I look forward to meeting with all of you and being in your presence again once the all clear is given, so that we can give all the honor and glory to God together. God bless the Boys Brigade. God bless the Commonwealth of the Bahamas. Greetings in the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. I am Captain Jamico Ford, President of the Boys Brigade Bahamas National Council and Captain of the 1st Bahamas Company of the Boys Brigade. As you are aware, the Boys Brigade is the oldest uniformed Christian youth organization in the world, boasting of almost 137 years of remarkable service in community building all around the world, which is a testament to its strong foundation, its value, and indeed dedicated leadership from the days of its founder, Sir William Alexander Smith, to the present. With this in mind, I find encouragement in that even now, when we have been faced with traditional meetings no longer being held due to the 2020 COVID-19 pandemic, that the organization continues to be a beacon of hope for boys in our country and throughout the world. Our history and yet still present day existence shows that as an organization, we have survived both world wars and several past world pandemics. I firmly believe this is in part due to the leaders, both past and present, continued efforts to champion the cause of saving our boys both locally and internationally via physical and now virtual means. In fact, due to the COVID-19 and connections fostered by Captain Henry Curry, I have personally been in communication with BB leaders in countries like Australia, Kenya, Malaysia, and St. Martin. I can say with all certainty that BB Worldwide is still alive and well. I am also assured of our future as a beacon of hope for males in our society by God himself. His word reminds me that he is not finished with us yet. Philippians 1 verse 6 says, Being confident of this, that he who began a good work in you will carry it on to completion until the day of Christ Jesus. In other words, God is with us and he will see us through. Despite this assurance, however, we still have much work to do as we continue to fight the good fight to keep the organization relevant in the 21st century and more importantly, to further advance Christ's kingdom among boys. Captains, chaplains, officers, alumni and parents know that we are in this together and together we are stronger. To our boys, your leaders are here to assist with your upbringing, particularly now as the world changes to a new norm. Continue to remain focused, listen to your parents, and allow God's word to be your ultimate guide. Remember, our aim is that you grow in wisdom and in stature and in favor with both God and man, as Jesus did according to Luke 2.52. We look forward to being with you again very soon. BB family from Grand Bahama to Anagua, as we continue to face the challenges of 2020, individually and collectively, know that we indeed have an anchor to keep our soul and its grounded firm and deep in our Savior's love. To those on the front line of this pandemic, we salute you and keep you constantly in our prayers. In the past year, our organization has experienced the loss of two veteran captains, Captain Wellington Well and Captain Philip Amirichu, as well as our friends in Abaco and Guatemala continue to recover from the devastating blow of our kingdom. We hold strong and are encouraged to remain sure and steadfast through it all. We continue to keep all these families in our prayers. On behalf of my executive team, I conclude by saying thank you, chaplains, 
captains, officers, alumni, volunteers, donors, parents, and most importantly, our boys for making DB your choice. May God bless you all, and may God bless the Boys Brigade.